This is AED for three dollars. Put that in a fairy garden. That's kind of cool, actually. I'm gonna get this. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm here at the Ocala Goodwill. Let's head on inside and see what we can find here today. Apparently, I forgot my wallet. Eh. So I had this is in my car. Five, six, seven, eight. I have nine dollars. So we're gonna see what I can find at Goodwill for nine dollars to make a profit. This is, I can't believe I forgot my wallet. We'll get a cart. I mean, we're only getting one item, so you know what? We don't need a cart. <laughs> we're gonna find basically like one thing and then we'll see what we can do. Okay, so this is a large Goodwill. They have a lot of clothes here. You can see it's just really, really big. Here's the other side of it over there but it's mostly clothes. We're heading over to the uh, housewares, the hard goods, because that's the stuff that we buy, the stuff that I buy. We'll go straight there, this way. Now we're looking just for the best deal we can get for $9. I mean, we might be able to get a couple things, but all right, let's see what we have. We have plates. Now these are painted plates. These are well, this in this one, it's Japan, Mark Japan on the bottom. Jean Murphy did it. There's some flowers, some platters down there, like a smoke glass looking thing. The color looks like they sprayed it on in that case. Not very good quality because it's going to scratch off like it did there. Got a bell. There's Gloria. That's her name tag. We got this nice little shell here for two dollars. Well, at these prices, maybe we can get a couple things. A milk glass vase. Oh, that's a cute little size one there. Three dollars. Look at that. It's a nice size. Little dish here. This looks like Noritake or something similar. It says I don't know what. Something China. Two dollars. Like a gravy boat type deal. There's this angel here. From 1995, she's made of clay. Angel, 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 I made her out of clay. And you got Santa Claus. This thing is newer. It's kind of like a made in China or Taiwan kind of a pottery thing. Oh, who's this with a pine cone on its head? That's a nice looking thing. Woman without a face. Sounds like a movie, doesn't it? woman without a face but she has her little gloves on she's baking a pie it's this ceramic huh. dolphins oh boy there's lots of dolphins is that supposed to be a person with a hole in her side wonder what was in her hole yeah she has feet no face no head oh there's her head no face woman without a face. She needs a wig. She needs a wig and somebody to fill her hole. Can you relate? Oh wait, what is this? Made in China. Two dollars. Oh, it's an ice cream cone. Made in China. Oh, it says love. Or it just says low if you have the top off of it. Low. V. Low v. Now this is older, look at this. This is flashed on for $4, this big compote. It's like a console bowl, but it's like a compote console. There's a big chip in there. Somebody got crazy with their spoon. And you got the detail on the outside with the gold. Okay, I can't get around the pants. Let's, 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 look. let's actually go down this other aisle. We'll come back and hit the other side of it. Oh, I didn't see this gal. Is that transferred on decals? Yeah, somebody had fun with that plate. Royal Norfolk. Mm. They tried, they were doing something special. Let's go over here. They have all the Sunday cups. Where are these? All their flowers. Okay, lots of Sunday cups. Oh, I've sold this one in different colors. This one's $3. That's a nice little votive holder. That, that could be our one, one of our items that we get. I don't know. Maybe. Seems like it's pretty decent quality. For $3? We could try. You've got all of these. 
I'm not going to be carrying around bowls, I'll tell you that much. Made in England. Oh, wait a minute. That's two separate ones. Oh, England did these ones down there. Who did these ones? I don't know. There's a sticker over it. It's a bean pot. I am a little bean pot. Four dollars. <gasps> Doctor Who. Tardis noodle bowl with chopsticks. <gasps> I want a noodle bowl. I like Doctor Who. I don't have a noodle bowl. How much? Four dollars. Oh, how neat. Four, five, six, seven. I could do that with tax. Huh. Do I want a noodle bowl? I don't know. I'm trying to make money. Not eat noodles. And you can't do both with $9. Well, you could, but that's called a mukbang video. Have you ever seen one of those? Okay, so you got this green springy dingy ding dong. Look at that green. That's pretty for $2 for, well, that's actually a terrible deal. Two little saucers for $2. Just have some key lime pie on there. Okay. There's lots of stoneware over here as well. I mean, their dishware aisle is full. They've got lots of dishes. Yeah, I'm just actually gonna breeze on by some of these because I don't really want. You could sell dishware and stuff like this, but you, I say you can, I don't want to. People can. Oh, this is a nice pattern, very retro, <laughs> very 90s. Oh, and they have the, now this is a fun one. This is known as the S handle mug, and this is Corral in the golden butter. No, butterfly gold is what they call that. Butterfly gold, and it's the cup and saucer, the S handle mug. It's a slightly different mug than normal, but Corral did it. See there? $2 for a cup and a saucer. They have these other mugs over here, too. Oh, I thought that said divorce. It says discover. Okay, well that's a little bit more exciting then. I don't know about any of these mugs. I'm not feeling them. Vases, no. More vases, no. Actually, this looks kind of fun. Two dollars, just one glass. It's for those lonely nights in winter time. We never finished this other aisle over here. This aisle, we didn't finish it. <gasps> Paris, for two dollars. That girl is asleep. Hmm. Interesting. Now this is mercury glass, but it's not old. It's like a pure one or a big lots kind of a thing. Two dollars or a Walmart kind of a thing. We don't know. These are still here. I was here like, what, a month ago? And these people were still here. Oh, look at this tree. Look at that pottery tree. That says AED for three dollars. Put that in a fairy garden. That's kind of cool, actually. I'm gonna get this. Yes, I am. You watch me. You watch me. Look, it looks kind of neat. There's this owl, too. But I'm not really a fan of that owl. And there's these these people. Uh, so far, I think we did some good things. This and my the that glass thing I have under my arm here. Oh, the lamps. Look at all these lamps. These look modern. Wireless charger. And then you got these, like the little Pixar lamps. And you have this one. You can have like a different vibe in your house if you want to make it look like you've got a camping theme, I guess. Or a flashlight, even more of like that rural, like aesthetic. Like you just put a flashlight on your side table. Like, yeah, we're, we're really trendy here at this house. A paper shredder. Look at all these monitors. That's exciting. Keyboards. I always liked, you know, when I was younger, they had like these like plastic things over them, like these rubbery things. And I always liked the way that they felt. You know what I'm talking about? They're like protector things and they, I don't know if you follow what I'm saying, but I'm trying to explain it. So there's these like rubbery buttony things that go over the entire keyboard. I just, I want one of those now. I don't know why. What would I do with it? I was, could pretend I'm a secretary. Yes, I'm Mrs. Wiggins. This is the metal aisle. Now I generally don't find much down the metal aisle. What is that thing? It's like a bowl with a base. Okay, a pie server. 
That's exciting. Mm, platters. Wine racks, candle holders. That's an Egyptian thing. Is that chalkware? Look, there's my two items. I still stand behind them. It's $4 from TJ Maxx. Compare it $25. Compare it $1,000. Compare it $10,000. It's what a, what a deal. It's only $15 now. Here's the other metal stuff. You've got a tray. Oh, that's a pretty looking tray. You're doing some things right there. Yeah. And a basket. Oh, look, another camping aesthetic. Stick that on your table. Bring the outdoors in. Do we want any of this stuff? No, we do not. Let's keep looking. Santa Claus is coming down. Where? He's coming there. He's on the side of the box. That's crazy. How much? Six dollars. See, it was originally 15. Our price, 10. Goodwill's price, six. Mm-hmm. Tod so it was once full of toddlers. Surprised by that. How many toddlers could you fit in this box? I feel like I have to get the Doctor Who noodle bowl, if not for myself, for the people of the world, because <laughs> to put on eBay or something. Because I tried looking it up and I couldn't find one. And I don't know, I'm spelling the word doctor correctly. I tried it doctor and I tried it as DR, you know, the abbreviation. But for $4, my goodness. Oh, is there a color sale? I have change in the car. I could pull some quarters out. It'd be like Chuck E. Cheese days. Pull some quarters out. The color's purple, I think. Well, like usual, nothing in my basket is on sale. Yeah, okay, purple. I definitely don't have purple. So I'll have to go get some money in the car. That's, that's all right. I have $9 in cash and then probably another 3 or $4 in coins. So we'll, we'll get, well, I just think we'll just get it all and we'll check out. I feel pretty good about it. I'm headed back to the car to get some change. I left my basket in there. She said I could. And so I'm gonna get some change. And I, I don't know what's gonna be like my total, maybe like $10 and some change. Yeah, that's not gonna be helpful. What is this? What country is that? Oh, the Bahamas. Hand sanitizer, which you take. Well, these are worth good money. Headache relief. I hate, I got enough. Napkins. Okay. All right, so that was an eventful trip. I mean, I'm just glad that I had some cash with me. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot my wallet. This was sort of an impromptu trip. I'm just like, oh, let's go to Goodwill. So I just ran out the door and my goodness gracious, I didn't really prepare for it. So I'm gonna look up the Doctor Who thing on Worth Point. I do have a Worth Point subscription and I can't seem to find it on eBay. Okay, so here I am on Worth Point, and I just typed in Doctor Who Noodle Bowl, and look at this, 30, these are sold prices, not actively listed, not we hope to get. It's, this is what people actually sold them for, $35, $40. That's May 13th, July 16th, 2022. Look how far back these are though, July 4th, 25. Okay. So $60, I don't, there's not even a box, but November, that's probably like a good Christmas gift around that time frame. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Ramen noodle. Here's one for 20 bucks in, 20, in, in 2019. So there you go, that's the eight results. So if you think about it, this goes back many years. This goes back, I think like till at least 10, 12 years. So 2019 is whenever it first, one of them first showed up. But you can see that we have, these are funny, that the, the prices sort of are, look, look where they are. So yeah, I think that was a really good find. $60, like that seems, look at that, rare. So they, they're they calling it rare. And I'm, I would call it rare too, whenever there's not many coming up. That's the thing that's cool about Worth Point is that you can see the items that were listed that are no longer available to look up on eBay. Let me show you, for, an in, for instance, like Doctor Who Noodle Bowl. That's what I typed in, right? And this was sold source on eBay. So if you type in, I'll just copy and paste it. Now we're on eBay. We'll type it right up here at the top. Paste it, Boop, like that. And then in order, here's what five results. Look, that's not Doctor Who, that's Dr. Seuss. That's Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss. 
Seuss, Seuss, Seuss. And then that's it. But we need to go to sold anyway. So come over here to sold. You click sold. So we now we're on sold. So now it's showing completed, sold, five results. And look, Dr. Seuss. No Doctor Who. Literally the most recent eBay sold was July 16th. eBay's not gonna show you that far back. So that's that's where WorthPoint really helps me. And if you're interested in WorthPoint, I do have a link in the description. So I will wrap up this video here. It was pretty eventful, if you ask me. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.